Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. Today I wanted to show you my Ogrim build that I bring into Damnation missions almost every time. I noticed lately that a lot of players aren't utilizing their Ogrim's potential when it comes to multitasking on the battlefield. So I wanted to show you how I assembled my Ogrim for crowd control, team protection, and maximum survivability. Damnation missions are meant to be difficult, so you want to prepare for any possible outcome that could occur. I felt that it would be better to show you a build built solely around being a frontline for your team, and also be able to handle waves of elites and monstrosities without feeling overwhelmed. So without further ado, let's just jump right into the build. And this time, I'm going to let the match play out while I talk about what I'm using. This way, you can see the effectiveness while I explain. First, our main weapon will be the Battle Maul and the Slab Shield. The perks you want to have on this are High Impact and Attack Speed. You won't actually need any specified damage towards enemies because of our choices within the talent tree. You'll want to mainly use your heavy attack as it provides a wide swing knocking back enemies and starts a bleed stack. This will normally kill most of the horde with one heavy swing as long as your stats are all around 70%. The special action allows us to plant our shield into the ground and provide cover to our allies. We can even tank demon hosts whenever they're aggroed, just plant yourself against the wall and let your teammates do all the work. The standard block will use up stamina whenever we get shot but it lets us move forward without taking damage. Once your stamina runs out however, you will be staggered and you will start taking damage. Like I said before though, this build is meant to be a frontliner, meaning whenever your team needs to progress forward, you're the one leading the charge. With elites, the heavy hits can stagger allowing you to get a few bleed ticks in while you stunlock them. Whenever crushers push up, I use my ability to stagger them and then I do a heavy hit and dodge. You want to rinse and repeat until they are dead. If you can manage that, then you will not have any issues with the elites. The blessings that we want on our melee weapon are Confidence Strike, which allows us to gain more toughness with each critical hit. And the other blessing we want is called Skull Crusher, which gives us stacks of up to 5% damage if our target is staggered. These blessings allow for maximizing our attacks whenever we fight any enemy. As for our ranged weapon, we're looking at the Lorenz Mark VI Rumbler. It's a grenade launcher that packs quite a punch. I set my perks to maintain damage on Maniacs while also increasing the reload speed to 10%. The blessings we want are Glory Hunter, which grants us 30% toughness on elite kills, and Adhesive Charge, which allows our grenades to stick to Ogrins and Monstrosities. This is huge for staggering Bulwarks, Reapers, and Crushers. This weapon can be used in crowds of Horde enemies and to snipe targets. One trick that I like to do with this weapon is shoot it at the ground whenever a teammate goes down. The grenade will bounce and explode, staggering all enemies around them, giving you ample time to revive them and get back into the action. As for your curios, I would suggest having some wounds and high health. As for your perks, I'd lean towards having some toughness for generation speed, extra toughness and health, and maybe some block efficiency. The only resistance that you might want is corruption, but most enemies won't really be an issue with the shield. Here's my talent tree. I'm going to go over my choices just to explain how they allow our build to work efficiently and effectively. The main goal of this build isn't to be the strongest, but to outlast the worst that can be thrown at you. In order to accomplish that, we're going to need our main ability, Loyal Protector. With this ability, we can taunt enemies within 8 meters and force them to attack us for 15 seconds. This gives our teammates ample time to recover if needed, and it can push back enemies for a small staggering effect. With Big Lungs, we gain a 50% radius boost to our main ability. And with just getting started, staggering any enemy will replenish 2.5% of our cooldown. This might seem minor, but we are a literal tank at this point. As long as we have our shield equipped and we're heavy hitting, we are generally not going to be stopped. As for my Blitz, I went with Big Friendly Rock for multiple reasons. First off, the rock is very useful for when mutants spawn in and are rushing towards you or a teammate. They will one-shot any mutant at full health. Not to mention, they replenish every 60 seconds. This alone has so much value since we can let our allies pick up grenades if needed. The aura I chose was Stay Close, which grants us and our allies plus 20% toughness replenishment whenever they're in coherency. The keystone ability that I went with was Feel No Pain, which blesses us with stacks of toughness replenishment and damage reduction. The modifiers that I went with were Pain Outburst, which grants us 25% toughness whenever we lose a stack of Feel No Pain. I went with Strongest to allow us to earn back a stack of Feel No Pain if we push an enemy over. And Toughest, which grants us more toughness replenishment on each stack of Feel No Pain. The passes for this build once again complement the weapons and overall activity of our Ogren as a frontliner. First off with Batter. Each heavy melee attack grants 6 stacks of bleed. This can be used with our shield and maul, and our rumbler if needed for a quick hit. Big Boom increases our explosion radius by 22.5%, making the rumbler more devastating in a wide crowd. 
The passive Bruiser gives us and our allies 5% cooldown reduction upon any elite kill. And Furious grants us more damage upon our next melee hit as long as we're continuously making a heavy melee attack. The passive Get Stuck In gives everyone plus 20% movement speed and immunity to stuns and suppression for 4 seconds whenever we activate our main ability. Hard Knocks gives our melee weapon an additional damage tick with each enemy staggered. It could stack up to 25 times and last for up to 10 seconds. As long as you keep hitting and staggering, it will keep resetting the active stack. I chose Heavyweight as it gives us more damage against all Ogrins and gives us a 30% damage reduction against them as well. The passive Lynchpin gives us more toughness replenished while in coherency with our allies. Slam gives our melee attacks a plus 25% towards impact which translates to staggering potential. Smash him gives us 25% toughness after hitting a single enemy with a heavy attack. And the best defense gives us 25% toughness when hitting multiple enemies. Both of these passes are perfect for any scenario giving us more toughness back regardless of the amount of enemies hit. Towering Presence gives our Ogren a bigger coherency radius, pushing our aura a bit further to our allies. And lastly, Won't Give In, which grants us 20% damage reduction per teammate knocked down or incapacitated within 20 meters. This can come in clutch whenever you notice that your teammates are going down. The amount of damage absorbed is quite high, especially if you can maintain active aggro. With the operative modifiers, we gain some health, toughness boost, as well as toughness damage reduction. This is the build that can withstand a beating and then some. Most fights will always go in your favor, even if everyone is knocked down. And at that point, disablers are your only real threat. But remember, keeping your team safe is your number one priority. I've had this build for a really long time now, and I rarely stray away from it. These weapons are pretty commonly used for a reason, and utilizing your abilities has only gotten easier since this last update. This week has been so much fun to experiment and try different things, both here on YouTube and in Darktide. I wanted to give you all some variety when it comes to games that I like to cover, and Darktide is a game that I love coming back to. With every update it gets better, and I know I'm looking forward to seeing what Fat Shark has in store for us once we get some new maps and mission types. I'd like to continue making builds within this game, but currently I'm a little bit burnt out right now. I will continue to iron out some of the classes though, and return once I feel like I want to show something off, but until then, stay tuned. Anyways, I'm going to leave you with the rest of this match, but in case you forgot, my name is Zen, and I hope to see you again real soon. Enjoy. has not forgotten you pilgrims he sees your service the mice will increase but a body don't give a damn right now i'll tell you down there
Demon head. You finally fell, huh? So many proud soldiers gone. Just like that. Kaya your lips and Kaya your stairs. Well, it can be fixed. Right? Right? For the Emperor!